let us continue so what we will do now is we will add some code to switch the fragment and for that let me close all of this we are not going to use all of this for now and uh, what we will do now is we'll go to the main activity over here and uh, we need to take some variable first so first of all i create a private and uh, let in it bear and i'll just call this one as a view video and bottom nav and uh, this should be of the um, bottom navigation view so be your bottom navigation view take from here and another one i will just uh, copy from here and control and d and duplicate the line so just if you want to duplicate the line you can just press a control and d from your keyboard shortcut so that will create a duplicate line and here we will need a uh, nav cunt rol nav controller and that should be of a nav controller so let me remove this one and uh, i will see okay so i think i will need another one one more variable so control and the uh, sorry not f control and d and here we will need a app sorry it should be of a, a app bar configuration so app bar config and remove this one here so we have a three local variable and let's go over here so inside the on create what we will do is we'll first get the button name so i will just say button sorry be old button nav uh, is equals to i'll just say uh let me go and get that one so button now let us get the id so we need to get the id for this one so button nav view just copy this one and over here and just import that one and that will import the from here okay and next we need a nav controller so nav controller equals to i need to find that one find a nav controller and that should be of the r dot id dot we have a nav controller sorry this is the one so this should be fragment host or we can uh, let me rename this one so i uh, let me rename this one as the nav nav host nav host and underscore fra sorry it should be f R A G M E N T. So now was fragment. I think that should be quite a better name. And over here, I'll just find that one. And uh, next, we have a app bar config, which is of equals to app bar configuration, app bar configuration. So we have a app bar configuration. And here we need to add the top level menu so if you take over here you can see the add the top level menu so we will add a top level menu so i'll just say set of this is the hotline set of and inside this uh, i will add all of the sorry i will add all of the top level menus so that should be from here so if we go over here we have created a button now menu and we have to add this one so navigation home navigation dashboard and navigation notification so let us find that one and r dot id dot navigation we have a home and the second one we have r dot id dot navigation uh, dashboard and we also have one more which is r dot id dot navigation Sorry, what happened? So r dot id dot navigation of the notification. So we have some error. I think we took a wrong, a wrong one. So it should be the app bar configuration. Okay, so it should be cannot inline. So we need to add some cannot inline byte code build with a JVM target one point eight. So we need to add the target. So for that, what we have to do is we need to go to the over here. So let's go to the build at Gradle and we need to change some of the information over there. So what we need to add over here below the build type, we can add, uh, let, let us add the compile option. So I'll just say compile uh, 
compile option so options options and inside this we will say that the source uh, s o u r c e source compatibility so capability compatibility so we need to add the java version so for that java version uh, let's say uh, java version of 1.8 and uh, we also need need the another one that should be of the target compatibility and that should be let's remove this one it should be of the um, java version 1.82 and also we need to add for the uh, Kot kotlin option so k-o-t-l-i and kotlin option and for the kotlin option we still have to add the target so j-v-m-t-r g-e-t target which is of equal to java version java version right so java version dot i uh, need a one point uh one eight synchronize for now and what does it say it says that okay so here is the error so what we need to do is we, we need the c-o-m-p spelling is not c-o-m-p-i-l-e compile option so try it again and uh, okay so that should be the one let us set up now so i will say set up action so set up action bar with a nap controller and i will pass we have to pass the nap controller right and the app bar configuration so nap controller is this one so copy and paste this one and second we have to pass the app bar config so this one is the one so make we pass it over here and if you go to this particular method so just control and control and click so control in your keyboard and click the mouse and it will take you to this particular super function and here you can read the setup set up the app action bar so set up the action bar required by the app compact activity get supported action bar so this app compact activity has the another function to get this supported action bar by calling this method the title in the action bar will be automatically updated when the destination change so which means that uh, whenever we change the destination so if we go to the app and whenever we change the destination so that will update our the title over here it's mentioning the over here so you can go through all of this documentation what it actually means so we can go through and check what actually it does so uh, we have set up that one the next is we will set up the uh, we have a button nav view right button nav right so i'll just say button nav dot set up we have set up with nav controller so button nav we have to set up with the nav controller so this is the nav controller and we have to pass it over here so if you go to this super function and you can see that it says that set up the bottom navigation view for the use with the nav controller we have set up the bottom navigation over here now we need to set up this one to work with the navigation so mobile navigation that we have created that is the nav controllers for us so that holds all of the fragment for us for our navigation so it says that to work with the nav controller this will call on this particular function when the menu item is selected so we have that menu over here we have a menu so whenever this is selected it's going to call that particular this the selected item in the navigation will automatically be updated when the destination changes. so you can just go through all of this documentation if you would like to know more about it and uh, for now i think that should be the one we are looking for and let me run our application and that should be able to change the destination in our application so let us wait for the application to come up and now we can see that we have our application and let me try to change it so if i change it you can see that the notification is changing
And if I come to the home, it's home, and I have to go to the dashboard, it's dashboard. So that's working fine. So if you want to make sure, you can just change this particular destination. So if you go to the dashboard and you can just remove this string file, and now uh, you can just say this is a uh, dashboard and string dashboard and for the home i will just change this the string over here and i'll just say to the home so we have a home and also for the notification let's just change this one to the notification so just to make sure that everything is working correctly and uh, let's run our application and let us wait for the application Okay, so we have we can see we are in the home and we are in the dashboard and now we are in the hello fragment. Okay, so this is a why it didn't change. So I think I, I did not change over here. So it should be of the notification. Right? Okay, so that should be fine. And I hope you enjoyed this one. So we still have some more options to set up over here, like the uh, we have the overflow menu and we still have to add the navigation and drawer over here So let's uh, do it in our coming lecture till then have a great day